Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to take you on an adventure I'm very excited about. Uh, a friend of my mom's happened to tell me a story about she had found two diamond rings in her yard and her husband had also found a gold bracelet and a gold watch in their front yard. Uh, apparently this happened after it rained and as the story goes the uh, prior tenants uh, the girlfriend there uh, had thrown her jewelry box at her boyfriend. Uh, my mom's friend lived in these same very apartments, but in a different unit, I guess, and had, had witnessed this. And um, I guess there was jewelry scattered all up in the yard. Well, the front yard has been paved over since. There's a driveway now added. But there's still a little bit of grass in this area. So I'm going to go over it and check today. And also there's a, a good section of the backyard. Um, well, of course, the jewelry box didn't get thrown there, but I'm still going to check over the backyard and uh, see what we find. Bring you guys in on this adventure today. Hey guys, so I'm at my mom's friend's house here, and um, I already checked the front yard area. I'll show you what that consists of. It uh, had a big area that was paved in. Mom's friend, she said she wished she could have invited me here beforehand. Here's the grass that I hunted. But over here, all this area and out in front of in the backyard now was sorry for the wind we're having a gnarly storm here i'll try to get out of the wind a little bit um was scattered in jewelry the two the two diamond rings a gold bracelet and a gold watch was all found and uh she's like i guarantee you there's more underneath that cement but i bummed out on that but i decided to poke around and i didn't find much a couple pull tabs and some foil, you know, I had to hit those signals. But um, poking around the backyard, I found about four pennies and a few pull tabs <laughs> and a couple other bits and odds and ends, little junk things. They haven't found anything special. But I got a solid 8283, and all around it was uh, some junk from different angles. I couldn't, I couldn't get a good signal, but I got the snake coil on here, you guys can see. I got a good signal. I'll stop blobbing. Yeah, I can see the edge of it. I think we got a silver dime. This place, apartments here date back to about the 40s, so let's see what we got. You can see it here. I know this camera's blurry. Sorry, somebody ripped off my other camera that I had in my car. Yeah, we got a dime. And we got Rosie. Hey, I'll take you, Rosie. It's not diamond or gold jewelry, but I'll take it. I know you guys can't see. Sorry, super blurry camera. I gotta buy another one. Them thieves ripped off my car. 1961. Let's see if we got a mint mark on the back. Eh, back's gonna need to be cleaned up. It's kinda hard to see. But hey, so we're done. In the park. Roundness in the hole. Sweet. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll find some more. Got another 81, 82 signal. So it's going up a little bit. And uh, I got my digger in the ground. I'm going to put the waterproof case on here. Because it's a raining. I'm going to set you guys down and see if we can do a live dig and see if we can find something together. Just a couple of memorial. A couple of memorial. I just dug up this. I told my mom's friend, uh oh. Better notify the police. Might have a murder weapon. Too funny. Metal gun. I remember these when I was a kid. Just to get them out of the quarter quarter machines and they'd pop out those little egg things with a little toy in them. Cool. Hey, 
Hey everybody, back uh, day two after our quick little short hunt yesterday at my mom's friend's house. Um, we had some pretty nasty weather, uh, real real windy today even still. Um, it was affecting west facing beaches, our, uh, our storms, and uh, I'm hoping the beach I'm going to go down to will have a little erosion. Uh, I don't think I'm going to travel as far as... Uh, some of the beaches are that are going to have some of the best erosion. But I'm going to go take a peek at a couple spots today that have produced before in the past. And uh, if we got anything good, we'll tune you guys in. You guys can see here with the, the wind. It's, uh, it's pretty windy and pretty chilly. It's about 60 degrees out today. And with the wind, man, it feels about 30. So we'll see what we can do. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. But the ocean looks very pissed off and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do check in at some low spots and things drop offs in the areas I want to be with those kind of wave conditions because that high surf but we're gonna go to my spot we're gonna check it out where's your look man oh man I don't even know if you guys can hear me with all this wind. Uh, we're gonna walk down there and take a peek. That looks like a real pissed off, angry ocean. It's windy here in the summer. Well, let's go see if we can even do anything today. I'll bring you in when I'm down there and let you guys see if we can see something together. That looks like a bad sign. The uh, stairs here, which is another two stairs under here. So, I don't know, this ain't looking good. That wall is a couple feet drop off. Whew. Let's go see what we can see. It looks like there's a drop off. Yeah, in areas it looks like there is. Uh, let's take a peek. That's not looking so good. We have these kind of cuts, which I've seen these before. Yeah, that's not quite a cut. My foot. This is kind of a trippy situation. Look at the ground here with the sand flowing from the wind. When a big gust kicks up, it looks really neat. Of course, I'm probably blocking the majority of it. There we go. Cruising along the top there. Wow. Those real dedicated beach hunters do this. Props to you guys, man, because these are some horrible conditions, man. Yeah. I'm giving it a go. I found two Zinc and Lincolns. It's pretty well sanded in. Uh, I had to dig down a few inches to get the Zinkins. Uh, the surface is so angry. I'm going to try to see uh, what I can pull up in, in the visible cut areas down there. And, I ain't gonna stick around too long because this is pretty dangerous conditions. But I thought I'd tune you guys in, let you guys see how angry the ocean is today. Ooh. Detecting I'll be able to get in. Uh, I found a couple targets. It seems it's pretty well sanded in here though. A couple Zink and Lincolns near the cut area, small cut. Uh, I'm gonna go further investigate a couple uh, better looking cuts. And then uh, I'm gonna try to get out of here before this ocean takes me out to sea. Look at this, this is just crazy. I'll put the uh, camera case on the rest of the hunt so it's not so windy. And I'll, uh, I'll narrate uh, on, the, on 
the points when I find stuff. Other than that, uh, I'll just keep this case on. Stay tuned. Well, it's definitely stirring up a bunch of crap. I'm walking along and finding all kinds of things. Uh, it's an old piling from the old pier. One of the old piers or nearby pier. Shit. All I know is that's a piling. So, so you can see it's, it's pretty pissed off. It's, it's stirring up some pretty big stuff. First target. It's a quarter. Didn't come from very deep. That's an 87. Hey. That's a... Uh, That's uh, uh, laundry money right there. Woohoo! God, I couldn't come up with laundry money. <laughs> See if there's any more around this area. I found about four Zinc and Lincoln so far. That was the first decent heavy target. We'll see what else we can pull up in this little vicinity here. Another quarter. Down there. Let's see how sanded in it is. They're here though. They're the little ones. Another quarter. That little hole there. I think I'm gonna call it quits though, man. I'm getting sandblasted. And it's really sanded in. I can't find any of the hard pack anywhere, any low spots, any shells. I dug down a few feet to see. So, uh, it was worth a shot, but the storm didn't produce the right conditions. If I can find anything else on the way back to the car, I'll bring you guys in. Well, I am finding targets here. Uh, I found three pennies and two quarters in the same area. So. Underneath this little cut here, underneath this little tower here, and all that jazz. So I'll set you guys down for a moment, maybe let you guys see if you guys can watch me.
throwing in the towel. Well, that was it, folks. It was uh, pretty well sanded in today. I didn't really find much. I found, uh, here, I'll show you. I got three quarters. I got uh, six, seven, eight Zinc and Lincolns. And a pile full of trash, nails and wires and such. So, it, uh, it was a really hard, uh, time out there walking with the wind and everything fighting all the sand blasting in my face and the conditions just went right uh, not for this beach I wouldn't be surprised if down south or you know further north of here we'd have some more uh, better, uh, better action anyways um, next time I go out hopefully we'll have better conditions and I'll try to show you what good conditions look like uh, prior to this time I went out was a, a storm we had a couple weeks ago and I got 71 grams of silver and it was just a quick two hour hunt I found a spot I remember uh, it was always pretty popular uh, surfing as a kid and after the storm those, those waves had really uh, gotten pretty big and, and tore out some, some cuts just in a small area and I found a decent amount but uh, I didn't have my camera somebody stole my camera I lost my uh, camera inside my car here I left it on the dashboard and somebody broke in and stole it and my GPS. So I'm back to this crappy thing. I gotta buy a new camera. Hope you guys can deal with it until I can. Um, other than that, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned and uh, hopefully the next storm will bring us some better conditions. Thanks for watching.